Now that the chaos has calmed and a fiery crash is now ashes. Words don't do justice to what's left, what happened, or what didn't. We're all one heartbeat away. A close call for Jim Weininger's family after a small plane crashed into his Madeira home on Tuesday. His wife, Cindy, was at work. He had just left to run errands. Their two English retrievers also safe. They're part of the family. So it was when I saw them with a the neighbor as I was walking up, then, uh, you know, everything else was put in perspective. The only soul on board was lost. 62 year old David Sapp from Arizona. It hit me about what that pilot must have been thinking coming down and seeing the plane just the cockpit totally gone. In comparison, nothing else seems to matter. Didn't think much about the house when you look at <laughs> realize a life was lost. Weininger says they moved here nine years ago, so their son Daniel could be in the special needs program at Madeira schools. Our son has since gone home to be with the Lord, but we have the fantastic memories of, we call it the golden years. It was those years that made this house into a home. So there are those memories, um, but you know, those are in the heart no matter what. Grateful, but also hurting for the pilot's family, moved by friends, neighbors, and even a stranger who showed up with flowers and a plaque. That says everything. It just kind of melts your heart. But that's that's Madeira. And moving forward to tomorrow, the NTSB will be holding a press conference at 3 p.m. That's where they will give their first remarks about the crash investigation. Now, the NTSB was expected originally to arrive today, but a crew got held up, so they had to send out a new one who are now on their way here. Reporting live tonight in Madeira, Jatera McGee, WLWT News 5. You can just